keep in mind that I'm not a tech news channel, so it, all you're going to get here is my opinions and some of the a few of the announcements, but not all of the announcements. And if you're looking for news uh, from the event, you can find many other places out there, journalists out there that have covered the event and uh, can give you a better uh, listing of many of the details that occurred this week at reInvent. So I urge you to check those out if you need that detail. So first, let's talk about the good. Uh, I saw another, a number of releases and announcements there around infrastructure that they're approving upon. So in other words, existing services that are very popular now that they're basically upgrading and moving into different, more innovative directions. Probably not as innovative as much as they were just improving them. So if you look at some of those, you know, we can look at some of the processor releases. You know, Graviton 5, uh, it's, uh, you know, basically makes ARM... Uh, the, the rational default for EC2 uh, with 25% better performance and efficiency translating directly into lower cloud bills. That's something that's going to be good. And I think that ultimately these sorts of things will be uh, of value to many of the customers who are leveraging them. Also, the uh, training them stuff uh, creates a real competitive pressure on GPU economics, uh, making large scale training and inference, uh, you know, financially accessible beyond a handful of tech giants. I love announcements like that because that's basically improving things in place and obviously higher throughput with these things. And, you know, in Amazon's role is actually creating and in, in managing some of these chipsets that they run in their cloud uh, that kind of puts them into the supplier role as well as the consumer role and the seller of the services role, which is a good place for them to be. In other words, they control the supply chain, what the processors are doing and how they're putting these things into, uh, into action.